Yo, what's up? It is Weston, and today I'm gonna be going over how my battery bank holds up while my mini fridge runs. As you guys know, I have a 12 volt, 100 amp hour battery. This is connected to Renogy solar power. It's charged by that and is also charged by my engine. The only things I run on my battery right now are some devices. Right now, the big question is whether or not my battery system can run my fridge. It is a $90 hair fridge that I got from Walmart. It is 1.2 amps AC which uh, thank you James Morin for pointing out, I need to convert this to DC power. So the 1.2 amp AC converts to about 12.7 <clears throat> amps DC. I originally thought that zero volts was zero, was, a, was dead, a dead battery. That's what I thought. I thought zero volts was a dead battery, but it's actually 10.5 volts. So as you can see from this chart, you wanna keep it in the green zone. And the green zone is 100% at 12.7 volts, all the way down to 11.9 volts. So that's like safe area for your battery. Then you have the yellow range, right? In the yellow range, the battery is at 11.75 and 11.58. According to this website, occasional dips in the yellow isn't gonna really bother your battery. But if you're continuously dipping into the yellow area, it's gonna cause permanent damage to your battery and the, the life expectancy of your battery is gonna go down. And you don't wanna ever go in the red zone. Red zone's too too far down. So I ran an experiment and I tested about four nights where I went and parked my car, checked the voltage meter, and then in the morning before the sun rose up, I checked it again to see how far my battery was going down. Here's a visual representation of my voltage meter and below it, it shows the percentage of charge that my battery has. So during the, during the day, I wasn't really worried about my battery going too low because during the day, I have solar power on and I also have my engine running. So that is energy going into my battery and it's keeping my battery up at a bit of charge. During the day, my battery fluctuated between 100%, which was 12.7 volts, to down to about 70%, which 12.32 volts. So it stayed in between there, that's healthy and that is good for the battery and I'm really happy about that. The main thing I was concerned about was at night because at night I have, I have no solar panel and I have no engine running. So all I have is energy coming out through the fridge. The two nights that I'm gonna go over are the highest voltage rating that I got in the morning and also the lowest voltage rating I got in the morning. The highest voltage rating night I'm gonna go over first. And there, I parked out about 8.30 at night and I checked the voltage meter and it was full. It was about 12.7 volts. And then in the morning, I woke up at seven, checked the voltage meter and it was at 12.37 volts. At 12.37 volts, that's, that's around getting around 70, 80%, so that's not that bad. What I did was I, um, I turned everything off of it. I had no solar, no engine, no devices or, or fridge on it, so I unplugged everything. And after three hours, it went up to 80%. You wanna wait three hours, according to this website, with nothing in coming into the battery or coming out of the battery to get a accurate voltage voltage meter. On the lowest voltage meter rating I got, I parked a little earlier at night, it was about 7.30. I checked the voltage meter and it was about 12.4 volts. And then I woke up at 7, 7 in the morning, before the sun rose, and it was 11.88 volts, which is getting in the yellow area, which I don't want to be doing that often. So I unplugged everything, I waited three hours, and I came back and it was 11.96 volts. That's about uh, 40%. And it's okay, that's getting in the low end of the green area according to this website. So there you go, you got my, my highest rating was 12.4 volts at about 80%. And then my lowest rating was 11.96 at about 40%. I'm actually fairly surprised at how well this, this little 12 volt battery is doing. Things to consider are not opening the door, how late I park and how fully charged my battery is, and also how full the fridge is. Based off of my test, my fridge did do better, have a better voltage rating when my fridge was full. There you go. In conclusion, my battery is doing really good. It's able to run this uh, mini fridge that I got from Walmart, and it's not really dipping in any sort of dangerous zones for my battery. So I hope I'm, my battery should be fairly healthy if I keep track of this. That's basically it. Uh, I really appreciate you guys watching. Thank you guys so much for giving me your input in the last video that I posted because honestly, you say, saved my butt because I thought zero volts was was uh, a dead battery, but it's actually 10.5, so that really helps a lot. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, I appreciate it. Thank you guys. See you later.